Sarah's filming. Hi. Today we want to show you our newest build on this 2019 Ford Transit 350 XLT passenger wagon. I guess we'll start on the outside. We did a Ford OEM step, nice aluminum step that goes perfectly with the Transit and they even include a new trim piece so that you have more room to step there. Really solid like that. We have a commercial grade 330 watt REC panel on top. A lot more efficient than the like 100 watt panels you're gonna find on Amazon and a lot better partial shade performance than a lot of those too. These doors kinda lock in position here. Once you open them on the Transit, they'll stay right there even in good winds, which is nice. And to make them go fully out, unlock them like that and they have little magnets at the bottom that'll keep them in place. So if you have an outdoor shower, um, it's nice that those lock straight like that. Quickly in the garage, you have an outdoor shower with your hose down here. That just attaches right in there and you have two and a half gallons of hot water, both in the sink and the shower back here. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the bed was high enough so that you can fit your bike back here. That's why the bed has a good height on it, a lot of storage space. Um, there's a shelf over here, all lined in King Starboard, which we, is a marine uh, material. Very durable, easy to clean. Over here is all the uh, electrical components, high quality Victron stuff. Um, we have a 3000 watt inverter charger and I put this here just to hide the wire so you can uh, stuff stuff in here without having to worry about damaging any wires or anything like that um, we also have this to protect the components back there that's all the main power center your fuse box uh, your shunt uh, all your bus bars solar controller and you have 30 amp alternator charging as well. So this just removes very easily if you have to get in here for any reason. It just protects it so that when you're loading this up you don't have to worry about damaging anything. The 15 amp shore power is just hidden right here in the bumper. Another way to charge. And the uh, outlet here if you have um, like an e-bike or anything like that you have to charge. Side. So the big thing about this build is it's on a passenger version of the Ford Transit Hybrid. So that means you have factory seats from the factory. Um, last van we sold we had a lot of questions about belted seats in the rear and uh, this is the only way I feel comfortable doing that. Factory seats on the factory rails and these both have seat belts. They both have the anchors for the child seats and they're really comfortable. You get a slight bit of recline to them, kind of like an airline seat. Pretty comfortable. You have swivel seat on the passenger side and two lagoon mounts with these really pretty epoxy river tables made out of walnut. Really nice. Like I said, they're both on lagoon mounts, so easy to get out of your way. And um, we haven't had any problem driving around with them just locked in place. You also have, if you can see, uh, a bunch of USB ports if you're working up here to charge your stuff. It's also a little bit of storage space if you wanted to put uh, a couple bins underneath of the seats. Um, it's a decent amount of space there. You have life-proof vinyl flooring. That's what we usually use. Works very well. Looks great. Cleans easy. Another benefit of it being a passenger version is you have the ducted AC back here from the factory. Works really well. So on a really hot day, you just idle your engine and you have nice AC back here. If you want to just come in and show the front, um, this came with a really basic stereo, so we had to upgrade that. That has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, your backup cameras in there, 
and you can keep the backup camera on while you're driving as well. Really nice driving van. Um, seats are really comfortable and adjustable. Um, has a sway bar too, another advantage of the passenger version, comes with a sway bar, very controlled, and it's really quiet. Uh, this build's very quiet. That's another thing that we like. The galleys, split galley here, um, both solid surface Corian countertops. You have Baltic birch plywood with edge banding all around. Can show you in this one is your water. So we have two five gallon uh, jerry cans and they have quick disconnect check valves on both of them. So it's very easy. Press the button, no water comes out at all. So you just remove them. You can fill it up with a hose if you want. What's nice about these is it's easy to find water at all of those purified water stands that you find at Walmarts and Lowe's. It's really cheap purified water and you can fill up these from those. So easy to find purified water. Body sink with the cover. A little extra countertop space when you're not using it. Or a cutting board has the strainer in there. You've probably seen those before. Uh, as usual, everything on our builds is all framed out with 8020 extruded aluminum. So you're left with something that's very strong, lightweight. It's gonna last you forever. And as you can see, you're not. You can rock the whole van. This stuff is very strong. It's bolted to the actual frame of the van. We love it. All uh, Bloom hardware too. We have the uh, hinges and on the drawers, the Bloom slides and the slam latches. They're South Co. all metal, stainless steel slam latches. They are great. They, it's a positive latch. so. Once they're closed, they're closed. You don't have to worry about it. A couple drawers here. Um, they're not very deep, but they store tall stuff. And this is dovetailed Baltic birch box. If you can see in there, it might be a little tough with the lighting. A lot of windows around this passenger van, all factory windows all the way around. So it's a great vehicle to go on road trips with. storage in here a lot of space for canned goods cereal boxes that kind of stuff we have a inverted plug up here in the countertop uh, with a couple USB ports so that's nice to have for charging an electric blanket in colder weather maybe a little space heater if you needed that I really like this um, this is the first time we've used this this is the, the Victron color control. So this stuff can be a little confusing for people that aren't used to um, dealing with like the other battery monitors. Um, this one makes it really easy. Now we're at 100% battery charge right now. So I can't really show you fully. Like this will usually show the amount of solar coming in, but since we're full, it doesn't need any. It'll show exactly that that's going into the battery. This will show your DC power draws when you turn your lights on or something like that. That'll change and go up. You can also see your shore power, the amount of amps you're getting from shore power, and your AC loads when your inverter's on. And this also turns on and off your inverter right here. So all in one panel, nice, easy to understand. You have a small upper cabinet. Um, this has side curtain airbags down both sides. So, you know, another advantage of the passenger version we wanted to keep. So, if you have rear passengers, it has airbags there. Um, you can't do traditional upper cabinets, though, like you usually would. This is just a small one uh, for clothes back here. Still could be useful. Um, you have Vitro Frigo fridge, 4.2 cubic feet of space. And why we uh, tried this one out, I like the freezer space. It has a lot bigger freezer than a lot of these smaller ones. You can actually fit a pint of ice cream in there, which is 
pretty important. <laughs> uh, the bed is a full-size mattress, so a 2PO should be able to fit up there just fine. Um, hasn't been cut lengthwise, so 75 inches or 76 inches is a full-size. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. Over here we have your switches. So we got your light switch here on a dimmer. Got your water pump switch, an inverted plug, and this is your timer for your hot water heater. Since that's such a large electrical draw, it's not something you want to forget about. So you just press 10 minutes, it'll heat the water, and it'll shut itself off so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you have a little bit more storage under here. Your toilet is at the very bottom. It's a Thetford. And a little shelf, a bit more storage there. Also, four USB plugs for charging your devices back here as well. And your induction cooktop lives under here. So, nice safe place for it, out of the way. Max Air Fan with a kind of a decorative walnut garnish. Is that what you call it, a garnish? Trim ring. Trim ring, okay. <laughs> Got that. I think that's about it. Um, the extra. This is all tied into the ribs in the ceiling. Um, it has some LED lights back here on a remote, so at night you can get different color, just accent lights if you don't want the main lights on. Um, and you could hang some stuff here in the T-slot if you wanted, like a little fruit uh, hanging basket or something like that. I also wanted to mention that this uh, wall here, uh, the King Starboard piece, this is only four bolts. So if you know that you're going to have longer items that you want to have extra space for through here, you can just remove this whole panel and it's really easy. I always forget something or five things, but we also have these. These are just removable uh, bug screened uh, little louvers so you can when you're set up somewhere, you can leave them in for extra ventilation. Not have to worry about bugs or rain getting in. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you're interested and have any questions, uh, feel free to click the link below or I'll put my email down there too. Other than that, thanks for watching.